Good day. My name is Kakhole Motlozi and today on the hot seat we are going to talk about the consumer price index new weights. Today I am joined by Petra Kelly who is the head of the price statistics at Statistics South Africa. Thank you so much for joining us Mr. Kelly. Thank you. I just want to start off by asking you, can you explain the basket and the weights of the CPI? Certainly. Well, the basket is a list of products and services that people in South Africa buy commonly. Mm -hmm. uh, the weights are basically a value or a proportion that is attached to each of those products that gives them a different importance in the overall calculation of the inflation rate. Yes. So as an example, people spend a lot more on food than they do on recreation. Mm -hmm. And so food prices ha have a bigger impact on the overall inflation rate than recreational items. Okay. And um, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the basket and the weights, how often do you update and how is it done? Well, international practice says you should do it at least every five years. Okay. And the importance of changing them is that it allows you to adjust the CPI to changing consumer trends. When people change what they buy, either because of their income changing or because of new technological developments or new products coming onto the market, you want to be able to include those so that uh, your CPI is relevant to normal consumers. Uh, we last updated the CPI weights and basket in 2013, so it's four years since we last did that, and that is well within the international standard. And uh, in regards to the basket, how, how are the products, how do products enter and how do they fall off? The CPI basket is based on the products that households have spent the most money on in total over a 12-month period. Mm -hmm. Now, StatsSA runs what's known as an income and expenditure survey that over a 12-month period asks households across the country to record in detail what products and services they have spent money on. Okay. Uh, we then compile all that information. We make some adjustments to it uh, using other StatsSA sources as well as information from retailers and other government departments to come up with a final set of uh, proportions and values mm -hmm. that we then apply to the uh, CPI. And in terms of uh the, of South Africa, do you guys use the same uh, basket and rates for the CPI throughout the country, whether it's, it's in the urban areas or rural areas? The way we calculate it is we do a basket for each province. Okay. And so what's important is that uh, different provinces have different uh, mixes of urban and rural, different provinces are richer than others, mm -hmm. and this is very important in building up the national profile. So, for example, the Gauteng represents about a third of the total expenditure of the country. The Western Cape is now approximately 17% of total expenditure. Okay. And the province with the third biggest expenditure is KwaZulu-Natal with approximately 12%. And which products have the biggest weight and what is the importance of changing these weights? The product group with the biggest weight is housing. Okay. Uh, housing consists of both the costs of living and owning your own house as well as renting, as well as the utilities that, such as electricity and water that you have to pay for. Uh, across the country, housing is the biggest expenditure item. Uh, the next biggest expenditure item is food, uh, which in total represents about 17% of total expenditure, and that's what we have put into the CPI weights. Uh, other big uh, parts of the basket are transport, and in transport, we would have purchase of motor vehicles, fuel, public transport. And, as, and the next biggest group is what we call miscellaneous, which essentially is a lot of financial services. Okay. Uh, so items such as insurance, uh, but we also have in there uh, funerals yeah. uh, and, and one or two other items that don't really fit in anywhere else. Okay. Some of the items that have come into the basket this year are ready mix flowers, such as muffin mix or pancake mix, frozen pastry products like frozen pizzas and pies, as well as instant noodles. And I think this reflects a growing convenience lifestyle. Uh, we've also seen toys such as soccer balls and video games coming into the basket. Mm -hmm. And one of the very important items is levies for sectional title developments. Mm -hmm. So all the people who live in townhouse complexes or estates mm -hmm. and pay a levy, those for the first time we will be reflecting the price increases within the CPI. Mm -hmm. One of the interesting items that's actually fallen out of the basket is stamps, really reflecting, I guess, that people no longer oh, send a letter. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining us. That was Mr. Petri Kelly from Statistics South Africa, who is the head of price statistics. 
Uh, for more information, please visit our website on www.statusa.gov.za. You can also follow us on Twitter as well as Facebook.